Why, hello, Miss Hasley. Hello, Mr. Martin. How's Timmy? Oh, he's fine now, thanks. He had a touch of fever the night before last, so Ruth kept him in yesterday. He, uh, he's around here somewhere. Why don't you come in? Ruth always has the coffee hot. Oh, thank you, but I just stopped by for a minute. Gee, Miss Hazlitt! Wait, don't go away! It's Miss Hazlitt! She's here! Hi, Miss Hazlitt! Hi, Timmy. I can see you're feeling better. I'm feeling fine. Mom thought I was coming down with something, but I wasn't. Good. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Martin. Hello, Miss Hazlitt. This is a nice surprise. I just stopped by to see if Timmy could go on an outing with his class Monday for nature study. Like we did before? All day? Mm-hmm. I can go, can't I, Dad? Of course. Won't you come in for a few minutes? Oh, no, thank you. I have so many things to do. And the school board meeting is at 5, remember? Yes, we're very unhappy about it. So am I. It's the school budget. The first thing a teacher learns is the inflexibility of the budget. Well, it, uh, it isn't final yet, Miss Hazlitt. We, uh, we still have today's meeting. Well, don't count on it. I'm not. But to lose a wonderful teacher like you just doesn't seem... Thank you, Mrs. Martin. I like Calverton, the people, most of all, the children. Oh, but I have to stay off that subject, otherwise... Please come and have supper with us some night, won't you? I'd like to very much. Well, goodbye. I'll see you at the meeting. Bye. Goodbye, Timmy. I'll see you on Monday. Bye, Miss Hazlitt. Talk that nasty old Mr. Burke into cutting somewhere else. He's not nasty, or old for that matter. I've tried to talk them out of it, but we're $200 over budget. Something's got to give. And so the children have to do the giving by losing their teacher. Now, Ruth. Mom, isn't Miss Hazlitt going to be our teacher anymore? I'm afraid not, Timmy. Not after this term. Why? I thought teachers were supposed to belong to the kids. Well, they do, in a sense. All good teachers want their pupils to feel that way. But, but then why must she go away? Well, you see, Timmy, the school board hasn't enough money to pay her salary, so they've got to hire a teacher who's less expensive. But I like Miss Hazlitt. Of course you do, dear. You'll have a lot of teachers before you're through school. Sometimes we all have to give up something we can't afford. You understand that, don't you? Well, the school board feels that it can't afford to keep your teacher. Do you understand that, too, Timmy? I think I'll go over to Boomer's. For a measly five dollars, the children have to lose someone they love. How do you figure that? Well, you said it was $200 a year, didn't you? That's right. Well, that's five dollars a week, is all. Well, in a budget, five dollars is still a lot of money. <laughs> We might get him? Probably. Boy, he was awful. Mom says it costs five dollars. What does? If we want to keep Miss Hazlitt. If we could only get the five dollars. That's an awful lot of money. I know, but if we got it, then she wouldn't have to go away. How are we gonna get it? I don't know. How much money you got in your bank? Eighty cents, I think. But I'm only allowed to put in, not take out. Me neither. But I sure don't want that old Mr. Platt for my teacher. Hi, Lassie. Hi, Pop. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you going to do? Nothing. We got two old days. We ought to do something. What's the matter? We gotta get five dollars. Five dollars? Why? If we want to keep our teacher, we got to. Miss Hazlitt? Who says? The school board says. Oh, you gonna have to pay to go to school now? Yep, looks like it. The only way I know how to get money 
is to ask your father for it. My dad works at the Calverton Bank, and he says they give you money if you ask. Do they give it to anybody? Sure, if you got lateral. What does lateral mean? I don't know exactly. Let's go ask somebody that knows. Well, hello, Lassie. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, hello, boys. Hi, Hi, hello. What's the matter? You look like the world is about to fall in. Mr. Teal, does the bank give you money like Bill says? Well, I don't know. How does Bill say? He says you need lateral. <gasps> you got to have lateral, huh? Well, I think Bill is right. You've got to have collateral if you want to make a loan. Now, if I want to borrow money from the bank, the first thing I do is to sign a note. That's a promise to pay. And I also give collateral. That's additional security. Something like my farm here. So that if, for some reason, I can't pay the loan, the bank can sell the collateral and get its money, thereby protecting the depositors, you see? Mm. Were you thinking of making a bank loan? We gotta get some money, Mr. Teal. Had you ever thought of earning it? We're too little. Nobody hires. Oh, I don't know. I've got a lot of potatoes I've got to get dug here. I'll give you a quarter piece if you give me a hand. Oh, oh boy! Oh, gee! Come on, girl. We can find something for you, too. There's sacks, boy. You're going to dig them with your hands. That's it. That's... Come on. That's fine, Lassie. Thank you very much. That's enough, boys. Just leave the sacks there. I'll get them. Now, that was a very fine job, and I'm going to pay you off. Timmy, there's a quarter for you. And Roy, Bill, now you've got some lateral. And there you are, Boomer. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, Lassie, I guess you earned something, too. Here's a nice, shining quarter. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, boy. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. OK. Gee. Hey, Boomer. Come here. <laughs> yeah. Here's a dime for Mike. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe we can find somebody else that needs potatoes dug. Yeah, making money is easy, isn't it? Mister? Mister? Got any potatoes to be dug? Nope. You want to work? Think you can stack this here wood I've been cutting? Sure. I'll pay you 10 cents each if you do it fast. OK. Lassie can help, too. Who's Lassie? My dog. That one? No, that one. Pick it up, girl. Pick it up. Okay, she can work too, but step on it. I want to play baseball in half an hour. What do you kids want? Got some work we can do? No. We've got experience. We can dig potatoes. Potatoes are all in. We can sack wood and feed the animals. You kids run along. I got work to do. I'm getting tired. We can't.
can't stop yet. We haven't got enough money. What time is it? Why are you always asking what time it is? Because our school board meeting is at 5 o'clock. <laughs> Did you see that? Well, that's a remarkable dog you've got there, son. I know, sir. What's your name? Timmy. And that's Lassie. Well, Timmy, you and the boy certainly deserve that money you were trying to earn. But we didn't work. You got any idea what this lamb is worth? About five dollars. Five dollars? This is a prize lamb. It's worth at least fifty. Gee. We're gonna get paid. How about 25 cents a piece for you boys and oh, 50 four. cents for Lassie? Jeez. Two, three, Gone. one. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks, mister. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Let's rest a minute. I'm tired. What time do you suppose it is? It looks like it's getting pretty late. Let's see how much money we have. There must be five dollars there. Maybe we got too much. How much, Roy? Five dollars easy. Let me carry it. It's my handkerchief. Good boy. 
boy, Mike, but go find yourself a rabbit. Sure we came this way? I think so. If I'd have known we were going to lose it, I'd have watched where we were. We gotta find it. Please, Lassie, help us find the money. Help us find my handkerchief. Not that way, Lassie, this way. Hello, John. Michael, Tom. Hi, John. We the first ones here? Yes. They're due now. Yeah, I hope we can get through this quick. I've got to milk after I get home. We're farmers too, Tom. Work's always waiting. Paul here thinks maybe we're making a mistake letting the teacher go. No mistake. We got to get a cheaper teacher. As long as we can find one who'll work for 24 or 100 and has a permit to teach, she's hired. But it isn't as simple as that. Why isn't it? Save your strength for the meeting. arguing about this until Burke gets here. Where is Sam? Here I am. Sorry I'm late, but some of my sheep broke out and I had to mend the fence. Say, Miss Hazlitt's due here at 5 o'clock. We better hurry. Let's, uh, let's decide who's going to be the new teacher. Any objections? Yes. I'd like to ask the board to reconsider Miss Hazlitt's replacement next term. We've been all over that, Paul. With the cost of supplies going up, we've got to cut somewhere. I know, but if we can recheck the budget, we... We paired it to the bone, you know that. He thinks she's indispensable. Not exactly, John. I just think her work is excellent. We ought to take that into consideration, even if it means going over the budget. Nothing doing. We got to live within our means. So's the school. I don't think we should save money at the expense of our children. The kids seem to like her. That usually means they ain't learning a thing. Tom, are you with Paul there? 
Well, he was explaining things to me. It makes good sense to me. We're all agreed that it's important to start our young people out right. And a good teacher is essential. One who can give the children the desire to learn. Children don't want to study. They've got to be taught to like it. And every good teacher knows that if she can awaken that interest in a child, he'll never lose it. All right. Don't get hot under the collar, Paul. We all know that Miss Hazlitt's a good teacher, but we can get another, cheaper. Sure we can. Sure, maybe we could get one even better. Or anyway, just as good. I hope we can. be there. My dad says they talk and talk and talk. Well, let's go. <clears throat> well, uh, we're sorry, Miss Hazlitt, but we just don't see how we can manage your salary next term. Well, please don't be upset, Mr. Burke. I understand. Timmy. What do you want, boys? We're having a meeting here. A man with a sheep. What's he doing here? Timmy, you shouldn't have come in here. We had to. We had to see the school board. We brought the money. Let him come in, Paul. What's on your mind, boy? Here's the five dollars, Mr. Burke. I'm Mr. Burke, Timmy. What's the money for? For Miss Hazlitt, so she won't have to go away. We lost the money, or we'd have been here sooner. Mousy found it. What money are you talking about, Timmy? The five dollars. I heard Mom say we needed a measly five dollars. Don't you remember? We've been working all day, digging potatoes and stacking wood and saving Mr. Burke's sheep. Timmy, your mother didn't mean just one five. For just a minute, Paul. <laughs> Are we to understand that you boys have been working all day just to keep your teacher? Yes, sir. And uh, you've got five dollars here. We think so. We don't count money so good yet. You boys really like your teacher? Oh, oh yes, yes, of course. course. And you think that five dollars will keep her here? Haven't you heard about it? Well, of course he has. Well, I, uh, I vote we keep Miss Hazlitt on. Well. Since the boys have the money we need, I suppose. John? Well, all right, boys. Miss Hazard will be here next term. Oh, boy! Yay! 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 Where'd your wife get that $5 idea? $5 a week. Uh, you mean you're going to keep their money? Well, we have to, don't we? I haven't got the heart to tell them they didn't pay for their teacher. Only one thing. I'd rather chip in my share than go over budget. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> this is the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me, boys. It isn't often that a teacher finds out what her pupils think of her, like I have. You're the best teacher in the whole world, better than anybody. Better than old Mr. Platt. <laughs> the boy sure taught us a lesson today, how important a good teacher really is. All except Paul, that is. Oh, uh, I had an advantage. Timmy taught me this morning. Last year, earned more money than any of us. She did? Come here, Lassie. Come on, Lassie. Thank you, too, Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,